Hello and welcome to module 2, adding content and managing your Google site. This is part 2. Module 2 is part of a 5 module course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. If you're watching this video on YouTube you can see the entire course with all the support and documents for free at the following address. The avatars in this video were made at www.spstudio.de In this video we're going to look at adding links, adding videos and adding class notes. Now we're going to look at adding links and videos. We're going to move from Fifi's main art page to her art resources page. And we're going to click on edit and layout. At the moment we're in two column and we're going to keep this. We're going to have links in this box and videos in this box. First links. Okay, come down and I'm going to show you the first page that Fifi wants to use. This page here. Now the easiest way to get a link from a page into your site is to copy the link, copy, go back to your site and simply paste. And there you go, you have a link. But there's a, a nicer and uh, more elegant way of doing this. Okay, now I'm going to change this font to make it slightly smaller, make it 12. So I want this to be linked to this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over this, click on link, click on website. I paste in my address. I'm going to say open a new window and click on OK. Now. I have a link directly over this piece of text and I can remove this. Here is the Louvre Museum and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to copy. Go back to Sites. Double click on the word we want to highlight as a link, web address, put in our text, our URL, click OK, and there we go. And that's how we add links. Fifi would like to add some videos. She has found a video on YouTube about Barack. Now to add a video from YouTube or from Google Videos, we need the URL, which is the web address. Copy. Back to sites. Click on insert. Video. Paste in your link. Enter a title. And here we go. And here's our video. Now at the moment the video is over the side of the page. That's because I have this page quite small at the moment for recording. If I make it bigger, you can see it fits quite nicely. Okay, and that's how you add videos. The next thing we're going to look at is adding class news. We're going to move from art resources and move into class news.
Now Class News is organized differently from the rest of the pages. Instead of being a normal page where we simply add information, it actually is a place where we can write a mini blog. If you haven't used a blog before, a blog is simply an online journal or an online diary. Now we're going to enter the first post for this page. Click on Post. And we're going to give it a title. We're going to give it a date. And we're going to say, okay, now I want to change the layout of this, just like I did before. I'm going to make it two columns, and I'm going to put a little resource over here for this week's class. Now, the resource I want to enter is a video, the best of Michelangelo. I'm going to copy the link back to our site, insert. Video and paste and give it a name. Save and there we go. And we can see our video is quite nicely here. I also want to put a link in connecting this name with a Wikipedia page. Edit. This is my wiki page. Copy the link. Back to the site. Click on link. A page. Paste. I'm going to open a new window. OK. And that's it. Make this a little bigger. Underline. And that's it. Click Save. And I have my first post done. And there we have it. Class news, first week of the new year. Every week, for every class, you can simply make a new post. We'll call this week two. And... We can put resources in if we like. Don't forget your date. And that's it. Save. Go back to class news. And we can see what's happened here now. Every time you make a new post, it appears above the previous one. So the question is, what happens if we have a large number of posts, let's say, after two months? Well, I'm going to pause now, and I'm going to enter in week three, four, five, and six, and we'll see exactly what happens. And here we are back, and you can see, in fact, I've gone as far as week 11. And these are the weekly posts for each class, and if we go to the bottom of the page, we see that, in fact, there are 10 posts for every page, and I need to click Next to go to the first post. So every time you have 10 posts, you make a new page. And that's how you organize your class notices and class information. And that's the end of part two of module two, adding content and managing your Google sites. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can see the entire course becoming an e-teacher with all the supporting documents for free at the following site. In part three, we're gonna have a look at adding Google calendars and using Google documents.